Hello, geometry friends. Um, for your last lesson in this unit, we are going to talk about composition of transformations, but now on a coordinate plane. So just a reminder, composition of transformations really means that you're going to do more than one transformation at a time. So you're going to take your original image, also called your pre-image, turn it into something new. Then take that new one and turn it into something newer than that. So that's what we're doing today, all right? Easy peasy. So it says given triangle ABC right here, Find a translation of 3, negative 2, following a reflection over the y-axis of ABC. Label the image. This should have a triangle symbol. I don't know why it's a D. And so we're going to do that. Fine. One thing I notice is it's got that little bubble that reminds me that I have to work right to left. So we're going to reflect over the y-axis first and then translate second. So I'm going to do one of those things where I try to be quiet. It's hard for me when I do these videos. And I'm going to draw my original. Okay, so there's triangle ABC, my original. And now I am supposed to flip that over the y-axis and then translate it 3, negative 2, which means right 3 down two. Okay, so if I do that, let's see, I'm going to use a different color. So if I flip it over the y-axis, A is going to go here, but then I'm supposed to go right three down two. So that'll be A prime. And then I'm going to do the same thing for B and C. So I'm going to start with B, Flip over the y-axis. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's where B would go, but then I'm supposed to go right three down two. So that's B prime. And then C, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But then go right three down two. And there's A prime, B prime, C prime. And it says state the new coordinates. Okay, I can do that. So my new coordinates are A prime is 2, 0. B prime is negative 2, 3. And C prime is negative 2, 0. That's not so bad. Then it says, what if instead of doing it that way, you did the translation first and the reflection second? So I'm still going to do the same two um, transformations, but I'm going to do them in a different order. So if first I slide it to the right three down two, and then I flip it over the, okay. So right three, I'm going to start at A. One, two, three, down two. And then flip that over the y-axis. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A prime ends up here. Oh, it's Definitely not in the same place. Okay, now let's try B. So right three, down two, and then flip over the y-axis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's B prime, and then C right three, down two. That's gonna be eight to here and eight to there. And they told us to call that A double prime, B double prime, and C double prime. And then if I state those coordinates, I would have A is negative 4, 0. B is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3. And C is negative 8, 0. Okay. So these are different. Okay. If I slide it and then flip it, that's different than flipping it and then sliding it. So is composition commutative? No. No, it is not. Okay, sometimes it is, but you can't assume so. All right, so then it says come down here. ABC is graphed. A prime, B prime, C prime, and A double prime, B double prime, C double prime are the images of ABC after a sequence. Identify the sequence that maps the original onto the newest one. Okay. So let's see, if I call this number one, then this would be number two. So how did I get from number one to number two? Well, it looks like I just folded it over the x-axis. So first, 
we reflected triangle ABC over the X axis. All right, then two became three. Well, it's over here, but I definitely didn't reflect it. It looks like I turned it, right? Doesn't it look like this turned that away? And it's one quadrant over. So that feels like a turn of 90 degrees. All right, and yeah, I think that's exactly what we did. So then second, we rotated a prime b prime c prime 90 degrees and it went this way so that's counterclockwise about the origin and that's my sequence if you want to write it in that fancy notation with the bubble we reflected it over the x-axis and then we rotated it about the origin 90 degrees Oh, too far. Hit the button too many times. There we go. All right, number three, write a single translation that's equivalent to this followed by that. So if I slide it and then I slide it some more, isn't that the same as like going eh, eh? Isn't that the same as just going whoop? That's what they're asking us to do here is basically combine these transformations. So if I went right three down one and then I went left five, up five if i go three to the right and then five to the left isn't that just the same as going left two and if i go down one up five down one but then up five that's the same as just really going up four so this thing and this thing really just get added together. Three minus five is negative two. Negative one plus five is four. So a single transformation would be left two up four or T negative two comma four. So when you're doing multiple translations, you can just add them together. Okay, so now we've got bike and golf are graph. Describe a sequence that maps bike onto golf. Now, this is tricky. When we look at this, if I want to map bike to golf, it looks like it's not, but it looks like we just slid it up. It looks like we just translated it, but we didn't. Because they want us to map bike to golf, that means B needs to map to G. So what we really did is we flipped it over the Y axis and it ended up coming here Right? So if I flip bike over the axis, then I have bike over here, and then we slid it up. And how much did it go up? One, two, three, four, five. So we did a reflection, not reflecto, reflect over, I can't spell, over the y axis, and then we translate. Up, what was that? One, two, three, four, five. Up five. So you have to be very careful on some of these where the image itself is symmetric with itself. If it has like a line of symmetry to make sure you know if you really turned it or flipped it or slid it. So just make sure that things end up in the right orientation. Okay, so since we wanted B to end up on G, we had to do a flip and then a slide. All right, and then last but not least, this is a regions question. Um, it said, which sequence of rigid motions would map triangle ABC onto triangle RST? Okay, so what would we do? A reflection over Y equals X. Well, let's see. Y equals X is this thing. If I like tilt my head and look at it, if I reflected that over, it would be like that. No, it's, that's definitely not a reflection over Y equals X. So that's not true. Another way to test that would be to say, well, if I reflect over y equals x, the coordinates flip-flop. So if I started with the point negative 1, 2, then I would end up, if I flip over y equals x, with the point 2, negative 1. And that's not on this. So y equals x, you are not the answer. All right, two, a rotation of 180 degrees 
centered at one zero. All right, well, let's see, one zero is right here. And if I rotate 180 degrees, however I get to that point is how I leave that point. Okay, C becomes T. That's okay, now let's try A. A, so we went down a bunch and then over two, down a bunch and over two. A does become R and B becomes S. I'm feeling like two is the answer. I'm gonna keep going, but I feel like two is the answer. A reflection over the X axis and then six units to the right. Let's test it. Well, if I reflect this over the X axis, it's going to look something like this and then slide it. Nah, that's not right. Okay, so this isn't it. And then a reflection over the X axis. Okay, I'd still end up like here-ish. And then a reflection over Y equals one. Well, Y equals one is here. No, if I flip back over Y equals one, it ends up on top. This is the answer. And that's it. That's composition of transformation for you. So hopefully that made some sense. And then you are going to do the homework that goes with it on day 13 in your homework packet. Have a good time.